hi guys welcome back to my channel my brother thank you so much for all your support if you are new to my channel you're welcome to my channel if you've not subscribed please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video today i'll be making a princess that yoke blouse i'll be using this fabric lace fabric lining i'll be working with basic bodies today the only difference is that i marked bust point and under bust measurement but i'll go through all the lines with you I folded the fabric into two using the biggest measurement. The biggest measurement that I'm working with is bust measurement, which is 46. 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half plus 4 inches seam allowance. This line is shoulder line. From this shoulder line, I went down by 1 inch and connected it to the neckline. The neckline I'm working with is 3 inches width and 3 inches depth, 3 by 3. So, boy, you can use any neckline of your choice. You can use a scoop neck, you can use boot neck. When you finish, you use bias to tidy up the neckline. But the neckline I'm going to use for this blouse is turtle neck. When I finish, I'll use this scallop for the turtle neck. I'll cut this out for the turtle neck when I finish sewing. From shoulder to this line is bust point. The bust point I'm working with is 10 inches plus half inch allowance is 10 and half. I marked 10 and half. From shoulder to this line is under bust. The under bust measurement I'm working with is 14 inches plus half inch seam allowance, 14 and half. And from shoulder to this line is half length, 17 inches. This is seam allowance to join it to the lower part, lower part of the blouse if you're making it as a peplum blouse or lower part of the dress if you're making it as a dress so now i'm going to mark bust palm measurements the bust palm measurement i'm working with is nine inches because the fabric is folded into two i'll divide nine inches into two which is four and a half plus half inch seam allowance to join it is five inches so i'll mark five inches from this edge to this line is five inches so i'm going to mark the dart on the west line, I will mark half inch on both sides, half inch, half inch. On the under boss, I will mark one inch on both sides. At the armhole here, I will come down by six and a half. I will mark six and a half. From this six and a half, I will mark one inch. I will connect it to the bust point. So from the under bus, I'll connect it to the west line. So I'll blend it. So this line, I will extend it by one inch because of this one inch I'm going to cut off.
I will connect it back to the arm hole. Now I'm going to mark the measurements. The bust measurement I'm working with is 46. You mark quarter of your bust measurement plus 3 inches seam allowance. The bust measurement I'm working with is 46. 46 divided by 4 is a 11 and a half plus 3 inches seam allowance 14 and a half. The waist measurement I'm working with is 40 plus 3 inches seam allowance and this that I'm going to cut off. 40 divided by 4 is 10 plus these 2 inches and 3 inches seam allowance. So I'm going to collect the line. So now I'm going to cut it. Um, this side, what the fabric you put on fold, you remember I said quarter of your bust measurement plus 4 inches seam allowance. I have more than 4 inches seam allowance, that's why I'm cutting this off. So, this is what I have. I will use this to cut out my lace fabric. After that, I will use this, I will cut four of these for lining. Four of these for lining. Then this center piece, I will trim it, the upper part of it. I will trim it, then I will use it to cut out the lining. I will put it on fold. From here, I will mark five and a half. Five and half. On this side, I'll mark five and half also. After sewing it, it will be six inches. Three inches neckline. Three inches neckline. Plus. Five and half. So if you want, you can leave your straight or you can make it sweet hard neck. So on this side, I'll come down by 2 inches. You can come down by 2 inches or maybe 2 and a half, but I'll come down by 2 inches. Then I'll cover it to this line, sweet hard neck line. Or I can use this. So this is what I have now. I'm going to trim this off. Then I will use this and cut out my lining. You know, instead of using this, you can mark directly on your lining. So now I'm going to trim it. Then remember, I came down by six and a half on this side. So I have one inch here, half inch to join this side. The remaining half inch is to turn it with lining. So I will trim it. So this is what I have, is the lining. So I will use this, because I'm not using this black one for lining, I'm using the cream color one. So I will cut two of this for lining. Back that starts for nine inches, or your chest line you go down by one inch. My chest line, I went down by one inch. This is 10 inches from the shoulder. So from this line to this center line is half of my bust part measurement, which is which is nine inches because the fabric is folded into two divided by two is four and a half plus half inch seam allowance is five inches. So this center line is five inches. I marked 
half inch on both sides and connected it to this line. So I'm going to mark the dot here. I'll come down by six and half. I'll connect it to this line. On this side, I'll mark half inch. I'll connect it to the armhole. Now I'm going to take the measurement quarter of your bust measurement from this line quarter of your bust measurement plus two and a half inches in allowance two inches is okay or if you want you can make it three inches when you finish you trim up the one you don't want eleven and a half plus two and a half what inch is on the waistline, quarter of your waist measurement plus one inch, this, that, and three inches seam allowance. Then, so when you finish, you trim off the seam allowance that you don't want. So now I'm going to cut it. I'll cut this two. So I have two of these. And two of this this is what I have this is zip allowance I'm going to use this to cut out my main fabric after that I'll cut four of this for the lining four of this for the lining To get rid of excess puff, I have two ways of doing it. I have it on one of my videos. I'll put a link in the description and also on the comment section. Um, you can mark half inch on the west line here. You can come in by what half inch and connect it back to this line. And mark another zip allowance. I will have one and a half inches zip allowance. And mark another one and a half and connect it. After that, you want to trim off the excess here. Then, or you measure your back half length. How many inches that you have, mark it and trim off the remaining one, slant it to this side. But you if you don't know how to do it, you still need to watch the video so that you know how to do it properly. I'm going to mark it for lining. I'll mark five and a half. Five and a half. On this side, I'll mark five and a half also. My neck width, my neck depth is one inch. So I'll connect it. So on this side, I'll come down by three inches. You can come down by two inches, it depends. I'll come down by three inches. I'll connect it to this line. I'm going to trim it.
this is for the lining I don't need this one again so I'm going to cut out the lining like this my lining I can use any side on my lining so I'll just cut four of these for my lining but if your lining have a right side and wrong side that means that you cut two of these and two of these so I'm going to cut four of these for my lining Sorry guys, I'm not going to show how to cut the peplum, but I'll show how to sew it. This video is all about how to sew the upper part of it. You can use it as a dress or you can use it as a blouse. So this is the front part. I'm going to sew it together. This is the right side. The lining. I have lightweight ST on it, interfacing right side of the lining right side of the lining right side right side of the lining to the wrong side of the lace fabric I'll join these three together warden I have lace fabric lining and um widen i also have another lining i'll join these three together then the main fabric i'll join it together also i have lace fabric lining with interfacing wadding i'll join the three together so here my wadding is half inch away from the lining. I have half inch here. It's similar ones to turn it with this lining. So I'll sew from down to this point to the wadding. Then I'll leave this half inch to turn it. This is for the back. I'll join these two together and these two together. I'll join it from down, but I'll leave half inch to turn it with lining. I'll also join the lining. This is the front one. I'll join it together. I also join the lining. I press it. I notch this part and trim off the excess allowance. I have seam allowance to turn the lining. I'll stitch this lining to the blouse. This is right side of the lining. I'll put it this way. Right side of the lining. I have half in seam allowance here. I'll pin it. I'll pin the lining to the lining. And also on this side, I'll stitch it. After that, I'll top stitch. The back part, zip allowance. I have seam allowance to join it. I use gather stitches to hold it on this side. I also press it. This is the lining. I press the lining also. So what I'll do next is to use this lining to turn this lining. Right side of the lining. I have half inch seam allowance here. I'll pin it. I also have half inch on this side, only on the lining. I'll pin it lining to lining. I'll pin it also, then I'll join it. After that, I'll top stitch. I'll do the same on this one. I've sewn the lining to it. So what I'll do next is to sew these two sides. I'll turn it this way.
I'll do the same on this side. So this is for the back. I also press it. What I'll do next is to stitch these two sides. I'll do the same on this one. I've tidied up the side. What I'll do next is to join the back and the front one together. Right side together. Right side. So after that, I will use pin to pin my zip allowance. I mark the measurement and shape the blouse. I've shaped the blouse. You can use pin to hold your zip allowance or gather stitches. I used gather stitches. I also press it. I'm going to join the lower part, but before I'll do that, I'll trim off this side. This is center back. This is zip allowance. Zip allowance, center back. This is side. So I marked one inch. I will slant it to this side to get rid of excess puff at the back. I have two ways of doing it. I have it on one of my video. I'll put the link in the description. So I will slant this. After that, I will fix the peplum. So what I'll do next, I'll remove these gather stitches and fix the peplum. So this is the peplum. Right side of the lining, right side of the lace fabric and another lining. It's kind of sandwiched the lace fabric. Lace fabric is in between the two lining. So I'm going to join them together with half inch. After that, I will notch and top stitch. This is the peplum. I've sewn the lining to the peplum. After that, I notched and top stitch. I also press it. So what I'll do next is to close these two sides. I will turn it this way. And use quarter of an inch to stitch it. What of an inch? I'll do the same on this side. I'll turn it and stitch it. I'm going to fix the lower part. This is the midpoint. And midpoint, I'll put the midpoint together this way. I'll use half inch seam allowance to join it together. The upper part and the lower part. I've joined the lower part and the upper part together. I used bias to tidy up the rough edge. What I'll do next is to fix the zip. I'll fix the zip. I'll fix the zip. So what you do next is to fix sleeve of your choice and tidy up the neckline. So this part, I'm not going to stitch it down, it's like tube top. 
Once you wear it, it will be fine. I'm not going to stitch it. You can use any neckline of your choice. You can use bias to tidy up your neckline. So, but I cut out this. I want to use it to tidy up my neckline. It's kind of total neck because it's three by three. So I will use this trim. I cut it from the. I cut it out from the lace. I will use it to tidy up. Then I will use this for button loop. I will fix it on this side for button loop. So I will go and stitch it on the neckline. So I've sewn it. I cut it out from the lace fabric. So I use it for the total neck. I also cut this out for button loop. I will use it for the button. So I've tidied up this side. On this side, I'll fix this. I'll fold. I'll fold it this way. Then I'll stitch it for button loop. After that, I'll put it on the mannequin to show you. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.